Yo, it's your boy LJ. I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. Let's get it. What's up, my fellow household appliances? It's your boy LJ, and I'm back with another video. Today, we are flipping DJ Khaled featuring The Weeknd. I mean, Drake. Grease. We're flipping Grease. Uh, you heard the song already. If you haven't already here, here's the card. Go listen to it first. And then don't even come back and watch this video because once you see that, what's the point of watching this video? Unless you really just want to know how I made it because that's what I'm about to show you. So first and foremost, you already know we grabbed the acapella from YouTube. It was already there, ready to go. The tempo was 84, so that probably translates to like 160 something, but it was halftime. The original song is pretty fast. So 84, you know, if you think of what I'm thinking, 84, that's like prime lo-fi tempo. But I was like, nah, I don't really want to do lo-fi. I prefer like the slowed reverb kind of vibe. So what I did was I took the original song and I just slowed it down and I took what that tempo was and I based everything off of how I slowed it down so I could recreate that kind of slowed with reverb kind of vibe. So that actually ended up bringing me to a tempo of 64, which is like, whoa. And it's also pitched down by five. To get the groove started, I put together this basic hi-hat pattern with a rim and a clap. After that, I found this really nice, soulful sample from Spice, and I started chopping it up like this. So at this point, I'm already like, ooh, hey, hey. So in my head, all I really had to do to get it fleshed out was just throw on an 808. So yeah, at this point it's sounding good, but I wanted the sample and his vocals to be sidechained. So in order to do that, I put a kick on top of each 808 because I don't want to sidechain the full 808. That just doesn't make sense to me. So I put a kick on, but then I EQ'd all the low end out of the kick just so it could only so it won't interfere with the 808 at all. It'll just have maybe a little click. And then I sidechained the sample and his vocals to that kick. Tony. One thing to note, to give it that kind of slow reverb kind of sound, pretty much all the drums, I put reverb on them and I actually pitched them down. So if you see, boom, hi-hat, pitch down. Snare, pitch down. Make it seem like I made the song at full speed and then slowed it down. That's what I was trying to go for. So boom, after that, I'm like, yo, this is pretty much done. Let me just add a little bit more texture to it. You know what I'm saying? So I flattened the sample, duplicated it, pitched it up, EQ'd the low end out, and then I put an auto filter on it just to give it like this weird sounding little texture. Then boom, I added this little synth, super simple synth. I just played one note on the push and I just kind of pitch bend it down at the end to give it that. Now at this point, I felt like it was still a little bit missing, so I added this little whistle. It's just a few notes here and there, just to, I don't know, add a little bit of variation, but it's not too important to the track. Next up was just arranging it. And like I always say, using acapellas to arrange your beats, like not just remixes or anything like that, using acapellas to arrange your beats is key. So this is a Drake song, this is a DJ Khaled song, top of the line, billboard chart artists and producers worked on this song. So you gotta know that the arrangement is smart. Drake is smart. They put these things together like it's science. I just followed exactly how the song was. If the song didn't have drums in a part, I took the drums off. If the song had a little extra melody here, I put a little extra melody there, which led me to this little bridge section. Normally, I mean, this song was already like almost four minutes. So I was like, nah, I'm gonna scrap the bridge. But I was actually finishing this up on TikTok and everybody was like, nah, you should do the bridge. So if you're on that TikTok live, shout out to you. But essentially for this, I just took the Sam sample, just chose some different chops and came up with this. 
never falling. Why you making problems? I've been silent. Why you making problems? I'm a problem. Being rich is not my fault. You decide who you think you should decide. I've been quiet. All them miss me when I'm flying. And you know, I love my slowed reverb vibe. So you know I had to slow it down even more. So I just took that and resampled it. So now when you have like a full audio file, kind of like you bounced it out, all you have to do is turn the warp off and transpose it down. So that way, not only is it gonna lower the tempo, it's also gonna lower the octave of the beat pretty much. So I did that, faded it out so it could be like the outro, threw some reverb on it, and it was what it was. She can stay in my room and it ain't my That's it. Super simple beat, super fun remix to make. Shout out to Drake, shout out to, but come on, you can't tell me he didn't sound like The Weeknd in this song. Anyway, if you like the video, if you like the flip, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for streaming the music. We are on the road to 400K monthly listeners. So stop what you're doing right now. Go follow me on Spotify, L.DRE, and stream the tunes, you know what I'm saying? Please, for the sake of the YouTube algorithm, if you made it this far, uh, please leave a comment. I don't care what it is. You can just say, yo, Eldra, I love you, bro. Can I have a hug? And then boom, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna respond to that comment and I'm gonna give you a virtual hug, all right? No pause, no nothing, all right? All love, nothing but love. I am a table. Oh, check out this shirt. My logo by my guy Taka. Illustrations, you know what I'm saying? He's selling these shirts, so go check him out. I'll leave a link below. I am a table. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Thank you for watching. Eldra, out.